Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is not dead, but is alive forevermore. And because Christ lives, you and I can rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. I hope you're excited. I've got God inside of me. You've got God inside of you. Let's go do something great for the Lord today. As we are walking in wisdom, uh, today is the 31st day of our journey. So we're going to be reading from Proverbs 31 and specifically from Proverbs 31 and verse 30 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the verse says. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Today, we want to ask God to forgive us when we've trusted in personal charm. We're going to ask God to forgive us when we've relied and trusted in personal charm. We're going to ask God also to forgive us when we've trusted in our physical beauty, when we put trust in physical beauty. And then lastly, we're going to ask God to teach us to not trust in charm or beauty, but to trust in him. We're going to ask God to help us to trust more in him. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, how we love you and honor you and bless you and praise you, glorify you and magnify you. God, we thank you for this journey through the wisdom literature. We thank you for walking in wisdom. God, we thank you for the last 30 days and even yet today. We declare that this is the day you've made and God, we're rejoicing and we are glad in it. But Lord God, your word tells us charm is deceitful and beauty is passing. Lord, forgive us when we've placed our trust in our personal charm when we've tried to get over by charming other people when we've tried to make ways and open doors for ourselves through our personal charm but you told us charm is deceitful so lord thank you for forgiving us when we've used charm to deceive people thank you lord for forgiving us when we've used charm to get our way and to manipulate situations We plead the blood over our life. We plead the blood over our misguided intentions when we've used charm to take advantage of situations. We also, Lord, ask you to forgive us for trusting in our own beauty, trusting in our own good looks. For you told us that beauty is passing, that good looks can change in a moment or over the course of time. Lord, we ask you to forgive us when we've trusted in our physical stature and our physical natures. When you've told us, God, to trust in you with all of our heart, lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways to acknowledge you and that you would direct our path. So, Lord God, you said in your word today that a person, a woman who respects the Lord, who fears the Lord, who submits to the Lord, you said that person, she shall be praised. So, God, our prayer today is that you will help us to trust in you. Lord, our prayer for these last 30 days and even yet today has been about walking in your wisdom. It's been about the fear of you. For you said that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And, Lord, we know when you tell us to fear you, it's not to be afraid of you, but to have a holy reverence for you, to have a holy respect for you to have a holy relationship with you. So Lord, through your word, help us to relate to you in the right way. Help us to respect you the right way. Lord, help us to have a reverence for you that honors you. And Lord, as we do that, help us to trust in you with each and every decision that comes our way. Help us to trust you, God, with each and every choice that we must make. Help us to trust you, O God, whatever path you lead us to take. For Lord God, you told us that when we trust in you, we will reap the praises of other people. That when we trust in you, that you will make us successful. That when we humble ourselves up under your mighty hand, in due time and in due season, you will exalt us. And Lord, as we get praise and as we get exalted, Lord, let us not keep it for ourselves. 
but let us point other people to you. Let us point other people to your glory and your honor and your praise. For God, you and you alone are worthy to be praised. So we thank you for these 31 days of walking in wisdom. We thank you for these 31 days of building up our faith, for we know faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We thank you for these 31 days of getting closer and closer to you. So we believe victory in the life of your people. We thank you for this opportunity to pray with them and to pray for them. We love you, Lord. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, well, I want you to go in the victory of the Lord. We pray for 31 days um, through the Proverbs, and I pray these prayers have been a blessing to you. As you need, go back and pray through the Proverbs again. Um, read the scriptures again. You can listen to these devotionals over and over. I pray they are a blessing to you and your family and everybody connected to you. Uh, we love you here at the New Horizons Church. I'll continue to pray for you in the days and weeks and months ahead. Please pray for me and uh, our church and our church family as we continue to do the same for you. Again, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. There'll be some other ministry products, sermons, worship services, special uh, devotional series that'll be coming out. Um, we want to make sure that you get an opportunity to connect to those. So when you subscribe to the channel, you can get those notifications and share it with somebody else. We love you in the Lord. New Horizons, thank you all for lifting your pastor up. Thank you for praying with me through this series. And uh, we'll start another series here as the Lord leads. And uh, I look forward to being uh, able to be a blessing to you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.